Hey guys, I have a video coming out shortly about St. Patrick's Day in Washington, what's going on at the White House, the Marine One came in, all that. But on the way to go down and film some of that, I went past the Vice President's house and I noticed a massive amount of police activity and a man has been arrested in front of the Vice President's house. Well, this is interesting. We're at the vice president's house, and outside there's oh, a whole bunch of DC police. I'm not sure what happened. It's a guy on a bike. They detained a guy on a bike. Jeez, look at all those undercovers. Secret Service. So I get home and I discovered from Alan Henney, who's one of the top uh, monitors of police activity in DC, that the man arrested was wanted with possible threatening statements against the vice president. And he was pulled over in front of the Naval Observatory. Police have been looking for him for a while and they had intelligence that he was around the area. Uh, I believe there was another vehicle located and they're currently searching that vehicle with bomb dogs. So news still developing. I went back by the vice president's house on the way home and things had calmed down quite a bit. So the situation has cleared up. Some mainstream media here. But uh, all the activity we saw earlier are now gone. Let's see how it is on the other side by the vice president's actual house. See if they've upped the security level any. Whoa, birds. All the barriers are up, but that's actually kind of normal for this place. Have the barriers up and the gates closed. Pretty quiet. More TV crews up here. So that's about all I know. I want to rush this video up onto YouTube because I know it's a breaking story. I will have another video later about St. Patrick's Day in Washington and the Vice pres uh, President's helicopter coming in this morning. Feel free to subscribe if you want more content from the streets of DC. And thanks for watching. Bye.